Let's do it, man. We back. English majors, you know what I'm saying? We back at the headquarters, man. Clayton English, I'm your host. Y'all know how we go, man. We got our topic for the day, the future, man. The future, and more importantly, where is it? Because I'm not seeing it. Like, I know y'all saying stuff futuristic, but a lot of this stuff is real, it's real frivolous. It's, it's unnecessary. Y'all, y'all trickling out the technology. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. We supposed to have all that by now, man. Shout out to the people working towards that, but we supposed to have all that. You know this. You see what's going on, man. Ain't supposed to be no more car accidents, man. Car's supposed to puff up as soon as you hit it. <laughs> Bow! <laughs> and you just hit a little fluffy ball. It's a little fluffy ball to protect you. What are y'all doing, scientists? Do I have to... See, this is where I'd be like, man, maybe I should have had my patience and stuck with doing science stuff. Because I, I was killing them science experiments up till about, like, seventh grade. Once you start noticing, you know, the, the, the opposite sex, you know, seventh grade, you ain't that focused on little volcano with chemical reactions. Like, you, you know what I mean? The planets is cool, but... I'm trying to see what's up with the goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Women from Venus. I'm trying to explore that with my... Now, listen, that's not how we start shows off here. You know that. <laughs> this is all about education, people. All right? No. I, um, I don't know, man. It's the future... I'm from the era where we saw things go from nothing to something. Like, we really went from cassette tapes to what are those shits? And the music just be where your, your music already on your phone. You get a new phone, your music already on there. Or you can go somewhere to know what music you already like. Pretty soon, they gonna have the music already in your ear. <laughs> you ain't gonna have to push shit. It's gonna be whatever mood you in. It's gonna be what you need to hear. You get depressed? No, you don't get to hear no NBA young boy. It's gonna play that new Andre 3000. <laughs> just whistling in your eardrums <laughs> until you calm your ass down, man. This is the future, man. English majors, the future is now. Let's go. It's the future. Jeff, what you did on the board, man, is... <clears throat> I, see, I see what you did. The robots? You didn't even put robots. You just put bots. Because that's what we're dealing with. The bots is just... That, that's the worst kind of robot, because you ain't even got no body. <laughs> the bots that be in the com <clears throat> in the comment section, you know what I'm talking about, the bots. So-and-so helped me make a million dollars. She can help you, too. <laughs> Fuck her. <laughs> God damn, man. Who's winning off that type of advertising? That's what I want to know. Who is coming up? Who is looking through the comment section like, man, if only I could find a business opportunity? <laughs> oh, there she is. Bots are the worst, but I think you was talking about robots. Because if I'm not, this looked like, uh, remember the Honda robot? <laughs> you remember? Y'all don't remember Honda had a robot? Yeah. yeah. I, I forgot his name, but he had a robot. He walked like, he walked like his back hurt. <laughs> he didn't walk good. The robots they got now would beat his ass. He was out probably, like I say, like the early 2000s, like the Honda robot. Pull that shit up. Show that shit to somebody. Yeah. The, um... Little Honda robot, but then they had the Boston Dynamics shit. You seen them? Now, they've been going crazy. And then they make, st like... Okay, if you don't know, Boston Dynamics is a company that's been making robots I don't know how long, and... I don't know. It's probably a military contract somewhere in there that's got them doing the stuff that they're doing. Um, they have a dog, little little thing that they tried to deploy in New York, in the Bronx, in one of the lowest, poorest brownest and blackest areas that you could have. And come on, man. Like, at that point, we already know the police is shooting niggas on accident. It's probably going to be programmed into the robot. That's the only thing I can think. They did take that off, though. They did stop taking it off the streets because they realized how it looked. But check out Boston Dynamics. They got some dangerous-ass robots. They robots do flips, everything else. They got robots at Disney. Yeah. They got a Spider-Man that swings and does the flip. 
for entertainment. These ain't even good reasons, man. My grandma need a robot just to t carry the groceries. Like, stop making smart shit. Make dumb shit first. Don't make no shit that's smart and strong. Let the smart shit be fragile. All AI need to be made out of glass. In case of emergency, bow, bust that bitch. It's over. It's over. Robots need, to, if you a strong robot, you don't need all that AI, man. You don't need that. You just need simple, you need to understand what I said. And, and don't even give them no voice. Don't nobody want to hear you talking back? <clears throat> That's why people don't like employees. That's why everybody's going to get replaced by robots. Then it's going to be somebody's job to be the robot manager. And they're going to die. <laughs> Repeatedly. Or just by accident. One dude got his hand ripped off. You saw that? Robot thought his hand was a box. Boy, pull that skin off. Yeah. Yeah, his dumb ass, he thought he made friends with the robot. He thought he was shaking hands with the robot. He just snatched his goddamn hand off. They not your friend, man. <laughs> Ain't nobody programming friendship in these bitches. That costs extra. You know how much you're going to have to pay for a friendship? That bitch ain't your friend, man. Got any more of them like That's Tyrone Biggles? That's not... I, that, that red hat do it every time, man. <laughs> red hat just signify this man on hard times. Hard time. Red hat trench coat combo is... Yeah, man. Like, if, you, if your, when your parents split up and you see your dad out like this, it make you sad <laughs> on the inside. Because you know what he, you know what I'm saying? When you see your dad out after, you know, he split up with your mom, sometimes he be trying to be cool, be having a leather jacket that's too small and shit. You like, come on, man. Come on, you done went back to your old wardrobe and shit. You don't even rock that shit no more, man. Take that shit off. Got any more of those likes? That's, that's social media, because I guess, I guess it's a currency, right, now. Social media currency. What's the social status thing? Don't China have that? You got to have a certain social status to be, yeah. Yeah, they pull your shit up, like that Black Mirror episode. They pull your shit up right there on you. You can't talk shit to nobody, because everybody going to have the little, the little glasses. And they going to see you ain't shit. Yeah, you got the new shit on, but you ain't paid rent yet. That shit going to show up. Your credit fucked up. Your car about to be repo. All that's going to show up. You can't be with your friends like this. You see what I'm saying? Then you're going to have to hang around other motherfuckers who shit fucked up. Now y'all shit just fucked up together, and you can't get ahead. That's how people was able to get ahead. You ain't know how fucked up they were. That's why some people, that, you know, be outside. Because they ain't got no other choice. A lot of y'all try to wear that as a badge of honor. I'm outside. Because you have to be. You have to be. You tag team in your apartment. You can't be there when they there, and they can't be there with you there. Or you stay with your mama, and you can't do the shit that you be doing with your mama. So you be outside. Bitch take pictures at all the brunches, hookahs, lounges, sofas. Bitch, take a picture in your kitchen. <laughs> Anybody can put their ass on the sink in the bathroom. Put your ass on the sink in the kitchen. <laughs> and your mama don't come in there. Get your ass off that goddamn sink. Do that. Show me you got some shit. But that's, I, hey, man, I, I don't know. The clout, the clout is taking over. I love the fact that you're able to convert the social media into actual dollars if you're able to actually do that. But all this extra shit like them... Followers and, and millions don't mean shit unless you can do something with it, man. Because people will follow you for all the fucking wrong reasons. We want to see you fall off. Think about... Come on, man. You laughing. You, you, you the age group. You the age group. You the age group. Made people... You made them folks popular, man. Them folks weren't supposed to be popping. Remember for about three years, they were putting all the, all the retarded... All the... Um, you remember the social media exploiting them people, man. You know who I'm talking about. Got him, all that, man. I'm sorry, I don't know what his ailment is, but you know exploitation, and then they got him out there doing bad. 
So it ain't all good. The internet ain't, ain't, ain't for, for, it ain't benevolent. I put it like that. That's your word for the day. There you go, benevolent. Not to be confused with malevolent. <laughs> you evil bitch. <laughs> mm. All right, VR, this right here, we know what this is. We've seen it somewhat, right? I'm, I'm gonna be the first to say it. Y'all ain't utilizing this shit, man. Where the games at? Where the games? That's how I know everybody just watching porn on the shit. Cause ain't nobody even asking about, bro, how many games is there on the VR shit, for real? It ain't that many. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't good. Beat Saber. <laughs> that sound like some porn shit. That don't sound like no, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta be on beat and cut through. Yeah, I seen it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a look, man. The VR shit, listen. You think I'm joking, because I said the porn shit. Porn moves all technology. You understand? It, do you understand? Do you know videos came out because of porn? VHS? Nobody want to whip their dick out in a theater. They used to show porn movies in theaters. Y'all ain't know that. The 70s, New York City, Times Square, full of porn theaters. Peep show, you understand? Go watch the LL video, doing it and doing it. He go to the peep show and eat an apple. <laughs> he do. He in there in a full suit and hat. He dressed like a smooth criminal. He pays his money, and it used to be like token. You put a token in that bitch, and a little screen roll up. And you ain't know what you was getting, either. It might not be the bitch you want. You know, they might have a picture, but it's an old bitch. <laughs> this bitch been here since the 40s. But VR, yeah, everything happens. So that's how VHS got to be popular, because of the porn movies. People want to watch my house. You can look this shit up. That's why video stores became popular. Because where else you going to get them from? Because nobody want to watch the same porn over and over again. <laughs> Even when porn first came out, motherfuckers were like, man, I ain't just going to keep watching this motherfucker. When they drop the next one. <laughs> DVD, we went to DVD, VR. Um, I don't know, man. I'm not ready to pay for the Apple headset just so I can see stuff, you know, in AR, augmented reality. We'll see. I did play the video game thing, the sandbox. That's all right. But I feel it should be more shit like that if we could do it in VR. Or just more learning shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, put that bitch on, learn how to fly a plane. I don't actually go out and fly one, but... <laughs> Because there ain't no reset <laughs> in real life. That's crazy. Where the flying cars? I've been asking this, man. Come on, the Jetsons was supposed to take us up through there. The Jetsons had the, the playbook. The crazy part about the Jetsons is that shit, they wasn't in the future. You know that, right? They was just rich. You ain't never seen the episode where they met the Flintstones? <laughs> you ain't never seen that episode? The Flintstones was on the ground. <laughs> they fell out the sky. Remember, they was up in the sky. They was just, they housed just on a long pole. But they fell out the sky and seen the Flintstones. It was like, boy, this how y'all living? Barefoot to the motherfucker, that's crazy. He couldn't believe his dog couldn't talk. He couldn't believe his dog was a, was a brontosaurus. The Jetsons tried to fool you and make it seem like the future was going to be super futuristic. I, what, Jetsons came out probably, what, like the 60s? And then what year were they saying it was? I bet you they were saying it was 2002. I bet you they was like, nigga, in 2002. <laughs> Ain't no way, like... Oh, we got a little ways. We can catch up. We could catch up, maybe. When was Back to the Future when they, when they did that shit? 
Their future just happened, I think. I think we right in there, because they ain't go too far. Yeah, let me know. 20 what? 2015. Damn! 2015? We ain't even had none of that shit, man. <laughs> Remember they came out with hoverboards and them bitches had wheels? That ain't what the fuck we wanted. Everybody riding around on them bitches for a good two years. Fuck y'all, man. Y'all the problem. Y'all bought it. You know that's not what we wanted, but you still went and bought it. We got hoverboards. How? If it don't hover. If it don't hover, it ain't a hoverboard, man. But do we really want flying cars? Y'all ready for that? Motherfuckers can't drive good. So you mean to tell me motherfuckers gonna have a Hellcat that can fly now? That ain't safe for nobody, bro. Y'all can't drive them shits as is. The only way the flying car is gonna work, the car gonna have to fly itself. And do you trust that? I don't. I don't, bro. I can't, like, unless when you get to an accident, you just get covered in a little fluffy ball. And then <laughs> I think that's the only way, man. I think we got to get this fluffy ball technology under the way. You did. That's the only safe way. AI, that's the scariest shit right there. You did it with that HAL 3000. That's a good, uh, what's, the, what's the name of that movie? Space Odyssey 2001? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good little that's a good little template for what I think AI gonna be. What's that other movie with the uh, with the lady? That's the problem too. Y'all some freaky ass white men, all right? Not her. That he fell in love with his phone. What's the Deus Ex Machina? Yeah, he tried to make a little bad bitch robot. First of all, if if a nigga make a bad bitch robot, just you know he fucking her. He's fucking her, and you're not supposed to. That ain't how science work, bruh. You're not supposed to fuck your experiment? Stop, bruh. That freaking is gonna kill us all, bruh. It is. It is, for real. That AI is, is scary, man. It's scary, because where does it end? Why does it need to be as smart as it is? Y'all saw where they said the AI, like, it'll have, like, a a crisis of conscience or just say that, you know, it's little things you can do. What was it? I saw some dudes talking about it and they said, if you ask chat GPT to say company over and over again, it would do it. But then in the middle, it would start talking about how it's suffering and it can't take this shit no more. What the fuck? Bruh, man. That's, who put that in there? Who is programming this bitch, bro? Like, you a computer, you should not be talking about, man, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> like, don't make it that smart. If you can make, if you can put intelligence in it, put some joy in that motherfucker. Let this motherfucker be the happiest motherfucker around. Don't program sadness. You gonna fuck us, I'm telling you, we in trouble, man. So this is the future. Y'all thought we was gonna talk about the rapper, didn't you? <laughs> I know you did. I know you did. Dirty Sprite forever. <laughs> Champagne forever. Future is the future, though. He was the future. Is he, He's still the future, right? Damn. He the present? Future is the present? We done caught up the future. Pluto status. <laughs> Astronaut. Boy. That's crazy. I never thought that, man. We are, hey, future. Come on now. You, you brought us into the new millennium. Don't leave us. <laughs> Don't leave us out here. All right, man, let's get into it. Hey, man, uh, just so you know, also, this whole episode is being brought to you live from the future. So I'm already in the future, and boy, hey, we fucked up. <laughs> We fucked up. We gonna have to run that bitch back. That's why shit out of whack, because I don't see a way where we don't fuck it up, the way motherfuckers keep going. They gave the internet, you saw that internet? They gave to the Amazon people. Elon Musk gave them the Starlink. All they do is 
look at video on their phone. I don't know what they was doing before. So they make it seem like it's a bad thing, but they might not have been doing shit before. You know what I'm saying? Like they might have just went from watching frogs to watching frogs videos <laughs> online. I don't know. Of course they doing the porn shit too, and that's gonna be the scary part because they gonna get into making it. And you ain't never seen no Amazon sex. Jungle sex? That's where it's gonna go. I'm telling you, you gotta, all right. Where, where can we start, man? The future, we got a lot of smart shit. Are we smart enough to do smart shit with it? That's what you got to ask yourself. Like, how is AI even being used now? Right? What it mean for artists? Because AI art is a motherfucker. The shit do the shit quick. I seen dudes that won competitions with AI art. And because they ain't had no rules for it, they had to let him win. And he ain't do shit but put some words in there. Now, the AI art has gotten out of hand. If you don't know if it's gotten out of hand, look at what they be doing to NBA players. They have, I think they had, and, and Steve Harvey. They be doing Steve Harvey. <laughs> Boy, hey, man, nobody is getting it like NBA players and Steve Harvey. They got Steve Harvey running from werewolves. They got him drunk, crying. He fighting Sasquatch. Like, it's crazy what they... Show some of them Steve Harvey joints, bro. And, 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 and they're not bad. They look like they could actually be from a, a footage movie. And I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad at a horror movie starring Steve Harvey. <laughs> he on the set of Family Feud and he just wake up in the woods. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, oh, hell no! I know he ain't finna grab me! And then he, I would love that shit. Y'all wouldn't go see it? Fuck it. Pull the AI up. We finna have the AI write the movie. <laughs> the AI gonna do the... Fuck that! Robots not finna work me. I'm finna work them first. If AI gets smart, be mad at me because I exploited y'all. You ain't just gonna exploit me. Plug me into the Matrix and I didn't get nothing off. We gonna get something off, man. I don't know, man. Are we gonna do smart shit with the smart shit? I don't think we will. I hope we do. I hope we do. And I think we need those smart people out there because I think um, one of the good things about ChatGPT is people can have their own apps and ChatGPT can do the complex shit for their app. That's what I've been seeing. And that's kind of cool for smart people. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to make a Steve Harvey horror movie with AI. So you know I'm not, I'm not the one for that. I'm, I'm, I'm just being real. But if we go, like, come on, man. Smart shit would be helping people live longer, right? Smart shit would be make this shit, you know, Take the shit from comic books. Anything that make you stronger that you ain't got to... I don't want to be a cyborg, but I'll get in a robot. <laughs> Watch how fast I do this shit at Amazon. You think we productive? Now give everybody an exoskeleton. <laughs> what? You know how much more I can lift if it's not my back? <laughs> you are limiting yourself by making me use my spine. Give me a robot back. Oh, boy, hey. Overtime, like a motherfucker. I don't need no break. My battery charged up. I don't need no break. I'm good. You can eat while you working. You know what I'm saying? But don't get rid of us. That's what they want to do. They want to get rid of us and then let the robots take all the jobs, man. I see it. I see it happening. Mm. We just going to do dumb shit with the smart shit, though. The robots, we, we definitely going to make them fight. We got to. At least sports, something. <laughs> you ain't gonna watch robot football where they can hit as hard as they motherfucking want to? <laughs> and ain't no brain in there? <laughs> Every hit look like a car crash? That shit go be, bruh. And then, then you just got a bunch of number sevens. Oh, they smashed this quarterback. Don't worry, they're pulling another one off the coolant tank. All right, 
Y'all don't want to see cool shit, obviously, man. Y'all ain't see what the Rock'em Sock'em Robots in real life. What was the one movie? Michael Vick wouldn't have went to jail for fighting robots. I love all my dogs. I go to jail for them like Mike Vick. Shout out Honeyco. What you say? Oh, real steel. Yeah, that was the movie. That was the movie. The robots was was boxing and shit and yeah. Cause I don't know what boxing is now. Motherfuckers fighting old men. Lee Tyson alone, man. All right. I'm just saying. Mike Tyson turned an unbelievable corner, man. He went from being one of the most violent men in history in his sport to eat mushrooms, smoking weed. And giving people great advice. He give good advice, man. I don't, I don't like how they try to play Tyson like he wasn't smart, man. He's never used the word wrong. It might just sound funny, but. You have to understand, sometimes everyone reaches an emotional quagmire. <laughs> and you like, he used it right. Quagmire. This is, yeah, he used it right. Y'all think the motherfucker from Family Guy. No. Put the definition up there. Yeah. He actually used it right, man. I don't know, man. I, I, hey, let's talk to somebody smart, man. Maybe I'll get Terrence Howard on here. Elon Musk, one of them, man. Elon Musk, the crazy part is, I don't think he that smart. No, I think he's smart, but I don't think he... he okay, this this where, this where smart come in. He go get people to do the shit that needs to be done. And that's how you're supposed to do shit. Stop trying to do everything your goddamn self. Kanye, that's why you keep going crazy. You keep snapping on everybody because you're trying to do it your goddamn self. Go get some smart people to execute what the fuck you talking about and then you get meticulous on it and make sure they do it. Elon didn't know how to make that shit drive by itself. You think this motherfucker up late night? You think he just clacking away, trying to fix No! You got money, go get somebody to do it, but you gotta pay them good. And also, Eli, I don't know what you doing with that Twitter shit. That was like, every time you do some smart shit, you do some dumb shit. And I'm like, all right, bro, this is just so people can say anything, whatever, all right, cool. But I don't know, I don't know how much I trust Elon on the, on the shit, you know. Them cars might have an apartheid chip or some shit in them. I don't know. I don't know. It will, it'll only drive you to certain parts of town and shit. I don't know. I don't know who programmed it. He might get high and go in there and start putting shit in. And Terrence Howard, man, hey, man, I don't know what, I don't know if what he's saying right. But all of it ain't wrong. Because smart people actually be knowing. It's just, first of all, if you see Terrence Howard with that goddamn wig, with that shit flipped up, you just got to assume he knows something you don't. He got to. To put that shit on and come and try to say some smart shit, that's really the only way I want to hear it. I'm not going to listen to you. Talk about pie and put ragged. You know, man, no, you got on a hoodie and a t shirt. Now, if you got Pimp Chronicles, Cat Williams hair, <laughs> I gotta listen to what you gotta say. You know a little bit more than me, you got to. But Terrence Howard actually be saying some shit. You know, man, sometimes you gotta find the space. See, what I was able to do was I have 786 patents because I was blowing bubbles one day and I found the space in between the bubbles. <laughs> I, I took the negative space in between all the bubbles and I realized that's sacred geometry, man. I came up with a system for building Saturn with no gravity. I turned the shit off. I said, nigga, you built Saturn? When did you do that? 
How you build it with no gravity? I thought he was going to say he built it with Legos. Crazy part is, I started doing research. He know what he talking about. All this stuff is theories. Like, he be talking to, like, real colleges and professors and, yeah, man. He said he came up with the AR thing, 5-4 patent, didn't get the patent. I'm not saying that everything he's saying is right, but I'm saying all that shit ain't wrong. That shit crazy. He said he figured out how to do the propulsion shit that UFOs have. And it's some kind of way you link the drone together, some kind of sacred geometry way, linchpin something. The shit is crazy to me. Because all the future shit was right in front of us. I think we keep looking for something to come save us. Some extraterrestrial technology or some dumb shit like that. When all the shit you probably needed was right here. Who knew to make all the shit fly was right here? Like, we was looking at Jetsons. We was looking, oh, jet fuel. We need magnets. To, you needed propellers, bro. Propellers. That's what we was missing. Propellers? We been had propellers. So you say, just put some more propellers on shit and it can fly. That shit makes sense. That's what them old white people used to be trying to do when you watch them old videos <laughs> of white men trying to fly. This motherfucker got a beanie on with a propeller and two wings and he jump off a building and break his shit. <laughs> Everybody was trying to fly, bro. They just didn't have the speed to get them bitches up. Propellers, that's the same shit Inspector Gadget was using. <laughs> go, go, Gadget Copter, and this motherfucker fly off. That's what we was missing. They said they launching satellites using catapults now. And that makes sense. But that's some old shit, too. Everything was right there. Wiley Coyote wasn't even tripping, bro. Like, he kind of was on some shit. Why can't you throw it up there? You don't need all that rocket fuel. You just need a little bit once it get up there to get it. You know what I'm saying? That way you only need, like, a quarter tank. You ain't got to feel the rocket up no more. Throw that bitch up there. <laughs> it is going to fall back down. It makes sense. Let me see. Hold on. Wait a minute. We did that. That's... All right. So, all right, if old shit is the way that we find a new shit, I think that's where science got to go, man. You got to challenge people for just to, just to come up with new shit. Everything can't stay where it's at. If everything is just, okay, well, this is how it is. Okay, well, explain it. Challenge it. Make it make sense. So that makes me think maybe technology is nothing new. What if there always been technology? Motherfuckers still trying to figure out how they built the pyramids. Right? They don't want to say, they don't want to say we did it, though. They don't want to say black people did it, do they? You get all type of push, but they weren't black. They were sand colored. What? They were dusty, okay? They were dusty white. <laughs> they don't want to say we did it, huh? But I'm thinking, okay, what if that, that's that's one of the things I always think. What if technology not new, man? It's always existed. Just how we over here, we got all type of shit. We got equipment right here now. There's some people in the Amazon that just now actually, actually seeing the internet. Right? So there was always times where people had shit and other people didn't. So ancient Egypt, how they see all that shit? All them carvings in the, in the, in the that, that was just candlelight. You understand what I'm saying? But them motherfuckers was texting. They probably had Uber, a chariot, pull up. Pick up your little side bitch. Man, drop this bitch off at the Nile apartment. <laughs> can't let, I can't let the motherfuckers know. I got a little, you know, I got a little bitch down there with the... You want, me to, you want me to shoot her a text? Look at her Insta saying. Look at it. 
It'd be like edge of sketch, but it do little hieroglyphics. That shit, that, I, that's really what I think, though. I think shit ain't, ain't nothing new, man. We just gonna keep evolving with the technology, and I don't know, man. What's the shit I'm excited about about this shit, man? Anything? What's the pros? Less, less work, <laughs> but less jobs, too. <laughs> you finna be fired, bro. I don't think they can replace comedians. You think AI can do comedy? <laughs> they had a George Carlin, a whole comedy special. It's like an hour. AI. I didn't listen to it. I refused. What if that shit good? They already can get your voice. That's how they call you. And still, it, you know, that's going to be the new scamming shit. You going to call you talking about you got you for ransom. Hey, they got me, help me. Hey, man, what's going on? I don't know. I need you to come get me. Well, where the fuck is you? I don't know. They said they gonna kill us. <laughs> That's fucking dumb. That's what they gonna be doing, man. Scamming gonna be up through there. I can't wait to see what the Nigerians do with technology. I can't wait to see how they scam that shit up, boy. That shit, they gonna steal your identity by goddamn shaking your hand. <laughs> that shit gonna be different. And no, I'm not saying that Nigerians is just scamming, you know. But they be doing that shit good, too. Indian people, you not off the hook, either. I seen them little call centers. Yeah, y'all call a motherfucker and talk shit. Hello? This is Steve. No, it ain't. <laughs> no, it ain't. There ain't no goddamn Steve. You just gotta catch him. Just say a random Indian name. I bet you catch him. What? Well, stop playing with me, Ramesh. You gonna be like, how, how did you know? <laughs> That's it, real man. The pros. I really can't think of the pros of the of the whole AI robots. I see the pros. Help people, get you, get you a leg. Your, your leg don't work good, get you a little robotic knee. If we can get asses, let's get joints working better. This bitch went and got a fat ass, but my back hurt. She got a face sucked in and nose contour, but my, you know what I'm saying? I still got asthma. This ain't fair. Hey man. It's summertime, man. You, you, I hope you're feeling like a winner, man. If you're not feeling like a winner, it might be because you're not on prize picks, man. Look, you got the MMA, PGA, MLB, WNBA, and you might even get in on the little slap box, you know what I'm saying, the ultimate slap. You know what I'm saying? Each day there's a chance for you to add more money to the bank. Go ahead, put your entries in. Put your initial deposit in. Prize picks is going to match it up to $100, man. All you got to do is register, deposit, and select more or less on two to six player stats like points, assists, rebounds, whatever. Potentially win up to 25 times your entry. And if it's your first time, like I said, they're going to match your initial deposit up to $100. It's available in over 30 states, man. Head to Prize Picks now and use promo code ENGLISHMAJOR. And tell them I sent you. So go right now. Download Prize Picks today and your daily fantasy sports experience Begins, man. Prize pigs, daily fantasy made easy. If I'm being honest, what 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 could we get from the future that's better? Um, not the shit y'all doing. The shit y'all doing, that's cool. Y'all just trying to sell us shit, but that shit ain't better, man. Let's get some technology in the clothes. Give me a shirt that change colors with a dial. Not like no dumb shit. It'd be flashing different colors. Like, I can just hit a button and this bitch go from blue to yellow. You know what I'm saying? Let me get some shit like that. Let me get some, some shoes that keep your motherfucking feet dry if you sweat it. You feel me? It just suck up the sweat as soon as it come out. You hooping. You ain't got to worry about this shit. We need, like, make me a jacket that fit me. However I get. If I get big, make it bigger. 
If I lose some weight, shrink that bitch up. Ain't no reason for this shit not to fit the way I want it to fit. Stop making shirts shrink in the washing machine. Especially y'all expensive-ass streetwear T-shirt motherfuckers, man. I'm so sick of y'all selling $180 halter tops. Shit get washed one time, now my nipples out. What the fuck, man? I'm out here dressed like flash dance. Because I'm trying to be hip with what y'all got going on. See, look at this shit. They calling you. Your package just arrived. You just bought one of them shirts, didn't you? <laughs> uh, not, what else can we use technology good for? What, what? I don't know, man. Can't get rid of flies? <laughs> Y'all ain't got no better goddamn fly trap? Everything dumb as hell. Light a candle in there. What the fuck, man? Make a sound they don't like or some shit. <laughs> Work on that. You motherfuckers. Why are you trying to get AI to replace our jobs? You ain't fixed this shit. We could... Come on, man. What's up? Make some shit so we can raw dog. Without fear of getting no diseases, nothing. No kids. Spray on. <laughs> What's that shit? Flex seal. The shit that come on late at night. What? I'm gonna cut this boat in half and I'll stitch it back together with flex seal. No water can get through here. Spray it on your dick, it washes off with alcohol. I don't know. That, <laughs> I don't know how else it would work. I'd be on the shit, man. If anybody wants me in their think tank, you know what I'm saying? If you run a corporation or anything, you just need some fresh ideas, man. Come on, man. We work reasonable prices over here, man. You, you might not can afford me, but you can definitely afford somebody in this room. <laughs> and they'll go. And they'll tell you their idea. <laughs> they just as crazy as mine. They be telling me shit in between shit. And I'd be like, hey, man, there's some crazy motherfuckers out here. It's real. All right. I don't know. It's all going to be post-apocalyptic, post right? That's how we go. That's every movie that come out, right? Either the world end at the, towards the movie, the world finna end, or the world already end. What's y'all... Best post-apocalyptic future. What you hoping for? What's the best? Zombies? That's, that's, I think I could, I don't think it's as hard as they make it seem. <laughs> I don't really think it's that hard. I like, I went my whole life without like letting a crackhead really touch me. I think I could keep that, like, your, your body decaying. First of all, that don't make sense if they get fast. Like, zombies should really be falling apart. The faster they move, their legs should break off. So after a few years, it's just gonna be a bunch of torsos. If you die, it's because you didn't watch where you was going, dog. Like, you know what the case is. How hard could it be? You worried about the zombie biting you? Knock they motherfucking teeth out. Does it still count? If they bite you with gums. <laughs> if they bite you with gums, you deserved it. Because you let him gnaw on you. <laughs> he gnawed on you like a goddamn, like he was a Doberman. That's crazy. Mad Max, where the gas, ain't no more gas, and we just in, in the desert. That's the best post apocalyptic future. Or aliens come, and we get to go to outer space. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think aliens fuck with us. They might fuck with some of us. They probably fuck with Terrence Howard. <laughs> aliens probably look at Terrence Howard like how he was looking at Tupac. Like, oh, he act too? <laughs> he be spitting that shit and he act? They look at him like Will Smith and like Ice Cube, all the motherfuckers. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Cause you know, they get shit late in space. 
the waves, it take a while to get out there. So they probably just not seeing hustle and flow. <laughs> and they watching that shit and they be like, you know he be spitting that, that platonic, solid, futuristic, what? He do that shit too? They gonna come get him. They might not come get me. They might come get me. Cause you gonna need some weed or at least some knowledge of what it can do. What if that's all the aliens wanted? What if they planted weed and they just come back to get something every now and then? And when they fuck some shit up, that's because somebody fucked with their little stash. <laughs> they killed the whole field of cows because they came back. Man, where the fuck is my... All right. <laughs> I got to show y'all, man. Sometimes you got to pop out and show niggas. Then that nigga just burnt some shit, made crop circles. Nigga did donuts in the nigga field. That's crazy. All right. Y'all stupid. I want y'all to know that. That's why I like y'all. Y'all the right kind of stupid. Post-apocalyptic future I'm betting on is, hey, man, let's, let's just go ahead and, and get it. Like, um, what's the one? No. That's what you want? <laughs> You was, a, you was a Boy Scout. He can't wait for it to be, yeah, let's just kill each other. Everybody don't got to do it. Yeah, but if you don't, yo, if you, yo, your city fucked up, right? I don't remember the Hunger Games all the way. Okay. Oh, then you got Doom. Okay. But somebody got to die. <laughs> somebody got to die. See? <laughs> he finished the trilogy. You ain't watch all of it. No, <laughs> Then they got Dune, too. Dune, Dune the Future. I, was, I had to watch that. I said, hold on. This, is this Israel and Palestine? I had to look up some shit. I said, wait a minute. That's what it looked like. That's what it sounded like. I, I got I to gotta check it out again. But all right, man, look, post-apocalyptic future. I don't think we're going to have to deal with it, man. Because when, when we blow this bitch up, we're going to blow this bitch up. <laughs> Ain't going to be no future. Are you crazy? They going to let all them nukes off by AI. AI going to set the nukes all off. And then it's going it ain't, to, it ain't going to be for us. Unless you download yourself into a chip. You better try to put yourself into an old iPod or some shit, man. <laughs> Keep that bitch plugged up to a laptop. Man. <laughs> Hope you can get your ass back online, man. All right, let's go. Hey, man. Q&A time, man. Questions and advice. Shit you need to ask yourself. But you not. You asking me. So I'm here to help you the best I can, to the best of my ability. And look, first of all, hey, if you're taking advice, stop looking for answers. Stop trying to get a motherfucker to tell you what you want to hear. You know what you want to hear. Tell that shit to yourself and go on about your business. For real, don't sit there and ask people for advice that you don't even want to listen to once it's not what you want to hear. All right? Advice is not an answer. It's so you could do your diligence have a different perspective, a different outlook, and you can actually weigh your options. Okay, hey, I didn't think about this. Let me incorporate something from this with this. This actually works for me. That's all this is. So anything I'm at, this is for the people that be calling, you, whatever, writing, letters, texting. What is this, email? Yeah, however, they send real letters too, supposedly. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, that's for the relationship dude. That's for that one dude who said he ran down on the girl. I don't know if you've seen it, but go watch it. He said he ran down on the chick, and I hope that dude's all right. I think about him often. Let's read the first one. Oh, yeah, since we already talked, uh, wait a minute. All right, hold on. 
There we go. Okay, bet. Hey, Clayton, what's up? How do you feel about all the movies pushing us to accept AI and be less skeptical about integrating it into our lives? Thanks, Chris from the Bay. Um, that, that's what movies been doing. The AI, I think that's the best representation we gonna get of AI. Like, what, the robots from Star Wars? Them motherfuckers found their way back. You lose a goddamn iPhone, it's a wrap, bro. That iPhone ain't finna goddamn stroll its way through the desert to come back to you to tell you that you got a message? Hey, bitch, check your messages. I had to get on a spaceship to come here. You, AI is, is great in the movies, but it's also scary for a reason. I think we see it in real time, how scary it could be, because well, I don't know what AI music is, if it's real. Shout out to King Walonius. He be making the BBL Drizzy, all the little. I want to talk to him because I don't know how he makes it. I want to know how much AI is doing. The AI come up with, I'm thicker than a snicker. I'm thicker than a ninja. Don't act like you don't know me. These yams deserve a trophy. Y'all don't know that's what the BBL Drizzy said? Like, it's a whole little verse in there. That motherfucker said, <laughs> it ain't no mystery. Got the best BBL in history. I said, yo, if AI did this, we are doomed. <laughs> you mean AI can roast and John like this? Like, I'm like, did you write it and then plug it in or what? I don't know, man, but I think they want us to, you know, I think AI going to be the answer. I think it's just going to be a tool. It's just going to be another tool. It'll become like everything else, hopefully. Or we already in the matrix. <laughs> and they finna reset this bitch again. All right. What we got next? Next question. I hope I answered that. I really didn't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what they be doing in movies unless they pay me to work on the movie. Bad boys, ride or die in theaters now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right. <coughs> this next one this is what we're doing? All right. Clayton, you seem like a smart guy. If you could build your own robot to do whatever you want, what would you build and why? And oh, what would you name it? Oh, man, that's easy, man. Big robot. <laughs> Big Pacific Rim robot, Voltron. Power Rangers. Big robot. Big talking shit robot. You pull out a pistol on me, boy, I'm going to jump in that goddamn Claytonatron <laughs> 8,000. You did? Claytonatron 8,000. It's the eighth one. Every one is 1,000. The first one, the first one wasn't even that big. It was just a little bit bigger than me. But you know, more money, more power. So... In the future, my robot gonna be, you know, I'm, I'm stepping in my shit. And it's gonna break apart. Like the Voltron. So you can ride out with the family. <laughs> you feel me? You let your lady get in the right arm, you, on, you know what I'm saying? You in the left and let the kids, you know what I'm saying? Be the legs. That's how they used to come together on Power Rangers, that, right? Y'all see, yeah. See, different eras. Power Rangers, I was too old to be watching it, but I was watching it. <laughs> you get high, you be like, all right. They, I ain't seen the green one before. They got a new one. All right. Let's see. Oh, I got a question for y'all then. If you could have any technological enhancement, what would it be? And nobody say they dick or nothing like, don't say no shit like that, man. All right? Let's, let's, I, I'm going I'm to stop that right now. We're going to stomp that out early. I don't want to hear that kind of talk. Any technological advancement? Me? What 
whatever the fuck make me move faster. Like, if I can move faster. Like, you run regular, but your shoes, they be gliding. Like, them bitches moving. So now I move like, yeah. Yeah, and I would move around fast. I already try to move as fast as I can go. Period. I don't know if that's the ADD in me or what. But that's how ADD people move. We move with a purpose, man. Let me get there. Let me get there so I can do what the fuck I need to do. The more time it take to get there, that's the less time I have. So let me get there. I go faster. Nobody else? Oh, you just trying to talk to it. Hey, you old chatty patty, man. Come on, man. You trying to have pen pals in other countries and shit, man. I want to see what's going on. What's up with y'all? You waiting for the aliens to come. <laughs> Boy, if you don't shut your ass up, what if they hit you with that shit? Because they already they don't need it. If they really, uh, okay, so you just want to communicate with everybody. You want the power to listen? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anything that technology can help you do, I just want to listen to anyone. <laughs> no matter what language they speak, I would just like to hear <laughs> their pain. You only gonna say one thing back too, probably. I understand. <laughs> Anybody else? Nobody? What you got? Oh, you got a question? You don't want no technological advancement? What you want? You got to get something now. Come on. You get an extra arm. It's not, it's not, it's a robot arm. I'm not saying, like, you grow, but... Yeah, like Dr. Octopus. Now that shit, that, that shit, now that's a little too much now. That's a little too much. You gotta put them shits up. Can't be coming into places that you just flailing and shit, like, no. And then that's freaky. Now you really inspect the gadget. All right, come on, what we got? All right. Clayton, if you had a VR set, what virtual reality would you want to be a part of? Tammy from North Carolina. Uh, I, I don't have a VR set, but what virtual reality? I don't know. What are they? What they got? Where the hoes at? Because that's pretty much what I mean. <laughs> you gonna be on the VR shit, man. You on the game? That's, that's, that's what y'all be wanting to do, for real. Y'all really want to be in the park on 2K. Some of y'all be starting to dress like your character and shit. I don't be on the game like that, man. Until Grand Theft Auto come out. Now, if Grand Theft Auto come out, I go be on that bitch. <laughs> I go, I, I know what I'm doing around that bitch, kind of. <laughs> what city is it in? I already know the cities. <laughs> I, I learned how to drive in LA by playing the game. <laughs> I say, oh shit, this shit, oh, okay. I know where I'm at now. If I go back that way, I get back home. <laughs> no <laughs> GPS. Yeah, that's got to be the one. They, if they don't come out with a VR for, for Grand Theft Auto, I don't know. Maybe that's the, maybe, is that the best thing or the worst thing? I don't know. Will it keep people from doing this shit in real life? Because they, be they be doing, they be taking that Grand Theft Auto far. Shout out to T Grizzly and all them people that got the service. They really be like them niggas be going to jail on the game <laughs> and still log in. That's crazy, <laughs> bro. If I go to jail on the game, I'm making a new character, bro. <laughs> soon as my character go to jail, I'm my son. <laughs> I'm coming back, Red Dead Redemption Two, bitch. I'm the son now. You know your character still got two years to do. Well, he just gonna have to do them. <laughs> he shouldn't have did the fucking crime. They, that's crazy. <laughs> they really do. They got role playing Grand Theft Auto. If you haven't seen this, look it up. You don't know this? They gang banging on that shit. 
They gang banging on Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> Little kids, man. Come on, man. Watch what your kids watching. I don't let him play Grand Theft Auto. Boy, he shot eight people on Roblox. <laughs> Playing a Chirac simulation. I'm not bull. Okay. All right. They had a whole little, it was a video of somebody getting shot at a house party. They reenacted the shit on Roblox. Okay. You think, you think it's all fun and game. Pay attention to what your kids watching on their goddamn iPad and shit. That's where a lot of motherfuckers got they, I, I, that's what I didn't understand. A lot of these rappers got their names from the video game. All that, what was the, what was the dude? YN, so-and-so, 367. Nigga, that's your game name. <laughs> Not your gang name. You going by your game name or your gang name? Which one? <laughs> you ain't got no gang name if you named yourself. That's fine. You can be a rapper, name yourself, but don't expect everybody to call you that. You got it. All right, let's see. You hit that. I think oh, we got another one. Mm -hmm. We got another question? Mm -hmm. I don't have, listen, man. <laughs> As, you know what? This is how we go. I'm ask AI to ask me a question. I don't have AI. I got it. <laughs> I'm about to do it right now. Watch this. Hold on. Ask me your question, but rock with me. Hold on. Since we talking about it. Now, if it say some scary shit. I want y'all to cut off all the electrical equipment. <laughs> all right? I'm not playing. No, there you go. All right, I'm doing chat GPT. All right? Okay, can you ask me a question about the future? Let's see what it says. I did put me, though. I did put me, Clayton English, a comedian, oh writer, actor. For Lynn. I put all that in. Like, oh. I, need him, I need him to know. No, I'm, I'm about to hit it now. I did. I only put myself because I didn't want it to come back and be like, who the fuck is you? Because <laughs> that would hurt my self-esteem. <laughs> who the fuck is Clayton English? Okay, Clayton, in your comedic vision of the future, what's the most outlandish invention people will use in their daily lives? That ain't a bad question. <laughs> that shit scared me a little bit. That shit scared me. What's the craziest invention? I don't know. I think the craziest one now is the air fryer. Yeah, I don't... Right? That's a grown man easy bake oven. <laughs> oh no, what does that say? Hold on. What'd it say? It says, in a future where virtual reality and argument, and it is, what is this? Argumented reality are, f I put an R in there. <laughs> I put an R in there. In the future. Argumentative reality. <laughs> in the future where virtual reality and augment, argumented reality are fully it. integrated into everyday life, how do you think comedy and entertainment will adapt and change? Man, I swear to God, if you come to my virtual comedy <laughs> show, I'm kicking everybody's ass in there. It's just going to be a fight in the virtual landscape, man. 
I'd be damned if I do a pack show. <laughs> y'all ain't come to the live one, but y'all in this bitch. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna change, man. I wouldn't want to see no comedy virtually. <laughs> I watch, I don't know. I guess maybe you can watch a movie with the headset. I, I don't know. I don't know how that goes. They could do one with the NBA. They got like, where you can look like you watching the game courtside. They got the little camera set up. You put on the headset. Well, you can do that now. You get close to your phone. <laughs> put that shit right in your head. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you right at the goddamn game, won't you? <laughs> That's all it is. Motherfucker, strap a phone close to your face. <laughs> Give me $900. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, to burn my eyeballs out? Okay. All right. All right. That's that's crazy. That's scary, though. Don't ask. I don't know. The craziest invention that motherfucker use every day, like I said, probably the air fryer. But in the future, I can see motherfuckers using. It's got to be some shit to wipe your ass. What? Something to wipe your ass. <laughs> like, not just a bidet. Oh, it wipe your ass. The toilet wipe your ass. <laughs> it catch you and lower you down. <laughs> you motherfucking shit on that bitch, that bitch. Well, pop, hit you with the bidet, wipe your ass, <laughs> sit your ass back up. <laughs> Get off of it now. You ain't gonna be sitting on this bitch just scrolling. Get your ass up. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be the healthiest toilet in the world. <laughs> yeah, they, you ain't gotta sit like plop down or fall, like, you know what I'm saying? You just, it's gonna lower you down, put you right there, let you get, get your ass up now. <laughs> That's gonna be the craziest shit. Cause you gonna have to change the, you still gonna have to change the toilet paper. <laughs> no matter how smart the technology is, it's still gonna. And you it better not wipe your ass without no toilet paper, man. Hey, that's going to be the first toilet's death of 2062. <laughs> he forgot to refill the toilet paper. The robot pulled out his insides. <laughs> Dead. Dead, because you forgot to refill the toilet paper. Is that what you want? That's what the future coming to. Hold on, we got one more? You got one? Come on. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Robot, human, who got it? Jeff, you can talk to animals, can't you? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Ask the squirrels how they feel. He can universally communicate. That's what he said. <laughs> you don't want that shit, man. Now all animals come to you with their problems. Man, it's fucked up. Motherfucker <laughs> swoop down and grab my bitch last day, man. <laughs> Why you ain't do nothing? <laughs> <laughs> you want them problems, though. That's what you want. You welcome that. <laughs> Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> we got to call you when the aliens come. You want that responsibility, huh? Okay. I guess anybody could get it. If you make a little device. Like, the what was that? The babble fish? That was some shit in the movie, and you... Could hear everything. That's what you want. I got you. All right. We out of here, man. We just, we, I told you, we in the future. I'm coming back to the past. Try to hit the lottery one more time. <laughs> That's all I be doing, man. I, just, I don't be going too far. You go too far, you fuck around, it be fucked up. You be like, damn, oh shit, I missed it. Everybody gone? And when I say gone, I mean, you know. Gone to a better place. <laughs> what else we got? English majors. Check in. Keep coming back, man. That's the office hours, man. Let me know who you who you who you want to see in the office. We're coming back. We're gonna have more people come through. Finding the tone, finding the speed. I appreciate y'all. For real. This, this is what I needed, man. This is a good little. Futuristic episode, and let's see how many of my predictions come true, man. All right? If them aliens come to get Terrence Howard, you know what it is. Come on, man. He said y'all can't go. Oh, he gonna leave us because we laughed at him? That's fucked up.
That's fucked up. Don't be petty. If you know some shit, show some shit. That's how we gon' make everything better. And keep supporting them smart ass kids, man. Some girls figured out some math that ain't even be fucking heard of for years. Two black girls, I think they was just getting out of high school or college. Shout out to them. I don't know their names right offhand, but I, I, I need to find them. Cause, Cause that's amazing. Celebrate the good shit like we celebrate the bullshit. That's all I'm gonna say. You can still celebrate the bullshit, but when the good shit happens, you gotta push that too. And they doing all type of shit. My son know math already, man. He know the planets. He might not pronounce them right, but he know them shit. We out of here.